And we welcome you back to the program, and uh, we are really looking forward to our next guest, Kansas Story Lee, the Vice Chancellor and Athletic Director at Vanderbilt. Big announcement earlier this week, and we've had a little bit of an opportunity to talk about it, but uh, let's get deeper into the details. Candace, thank you very much, and it's great to have you uh, back on the program. Thank you very much for having me, Paul. I appreciate it. Well, when we visited last, uh, you were uh, portending that maybe things were changing in the future, and, and I'm going to just sit back and listen because I really uh, think uh, all of us would like to hear how you came uh, to the announcement uh, earlier this week. Well, sure. Well, you know, it's been um, – it's really been a very – intentional process. You know, I, I uh, became permanently was appointed in May, um, so, you know, al almost a year ago. And then our new chancellor, Daniel Deermeyer, officially started on July 1st. And as we all know, we were knee-deep in COVID, but um, worked really hard to focus on the urgent and what was in front of us immediately, but also plan for the future. And, you know, I think we've sort of been hinting at this for a while, but, you um, we had a, a quietly raised a good amount of money, and I think that that's certainly um, exciting and bodes well for the future. But the campaign that we announced on Monday is called Vandy United, and that's a, we're intentional with those words because we want to show that for us to take the necessary steps to reach our potential, it will take everyone. You know, it's an opportunity to engage in a different way. Um, and just to call on people, you know, I hope it's a rallying cry. We hope it's a call to action. I think we've already seen quietly that that's been the case, but to have the opportunity to publicly talk about it and to pour into our student athletes, we're really excited for this. I, I'm not good at, with math. 300 million sounds like a lot, although in the world of intercollegiate athletics, I, I'm really not certain of that. Um, Kansas, uh, <laughs> how and, 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 and in what manner will this unfold? So, you know, $300 million is uh, the, the largest investment that we've made into athletics at Vanderbilt. And so for us, that's a very big number, and it's significant in that we've already raised $100 million, and then the university is investing another $100 million. And so we have $200 million to date. Um, well, that, that number is, uh, is, is growing by the, by the minute because people have been very responsive even in this short time. But uh, what we plan to do is, as as soon as possible, we will begin construction on, um, we've identified four projects to date, and that would be a football operations building, a basketball operations building, an indoor, a new indoor football practice facility. We do have one that we built in 2014, which we're very grateful for, but we want to have one that's a little more strategically placed to make the movement of our student athletes a little easier, moving kind of from point A to point B. And then also included in this initial list is an expansion and a renovation of the Magugan Center, which is like the, the home for all of our programs right now. And that piece is important to us because that will touch all of our student athletes. So we're, we're really excited. Candace, on the football uh, piece of this, you know, facilities internally are, are very important. I mean, what most of the fans get hung up on what we see on Saturday, but but I would like you to describe how important those facilities are from not only an operational standpoint, but from a recruiting standpoint. Yeah, you know, the, the reality is that uh, we're, we're prioritizing the day-to-day student-athlete experience, so building up the infrastructure so that it is necessary for these young people to have what they need to compete. So, you know, the recruiting piece is important because that's how you feel the team. You then need to make sure that once those student athletes get there, they have what they need to compete and win. And, you know, I think that this is um, – I think our approach is, is, is beneficial and, and creative to some degree because we think we can focus on the student athlete experience and the infrastructure while also creating a better experience for our fans. These are two, these are two areas where we needed to focus more attention. And so I know some people will talk about wanting to put money only into a new stadium. And, and I certainly understand that, right? So it's been, a, it's been a long time since we have significantly invested into our football stadium. Um, but we're going to be strategic with how we do that. And by, 
by investing in these buildings, we'll be able to also create opportunities for our fans, which they deserve because they have hung in there with us, and this is important. But we've got to take care of the day-to-day -day experience. I think it would be irresponsible, quite frankly, if we skipped steps and didn't focus on what our kids need here and now. Chatting with Kansas Story Lee, the athletic director at Vanderbilt, and I, I do I do want to ask you about that because uh, that is what we see uh, both when we're at a game and uh, on television. And and as you have made your way around uh, this conference, as I know you have, uh, you see these sure. these magnificent uh, edifices. How, how yeah. I know Vanderbilt's not trying to keep up with the Joneses. I mean, this is a different approach and a different type of university, but, but how do you compete ultimately on that front? Yeah, you know, you know I think um, we are proud to be in this league, and in this league, you're right, you know, there are huge stadiums, there are, there are all kinds of ways to go about doing what we all set to do, and that's put student athletes in position to reach their potential, right? And, to, and, and athletics is a great way to do that. Um, at Vanderbilt, we think we have a value proposition that, um, that is attractive. So we, we're at a, one of the finest institutions in the world. We're in the best conference in the country. We're in what we think is the best city in the country. And we prioritize the student athlete experience. That's not meant to talk about what other people do because um, I, I don't work anywhere else, so I can't speak to what they do. I, I, I presume that everyone in this business is just trying to take care of young people. And, create, and use athletics as a way to create tradition and pageantry and opportunities to engage with the community and raise the profile of their universities. How you go about it is really dependent on the conditions of where you are. And at Vanderbilt, we think that this is the way that we can excel. We have, we have an excellent university and we want athletics to reflect that same excellence. And we think that this is a big step towards doing that. So I, I hear, I certainly understand what, what you're asking. And, you know, we feel like we can compete and win by doing it our way. And I, I want to I follow up on that, Candace. And I, I know you just made a coaching change. So what, what's happened in the past is not really germane to this conversation. But, but ultimately, how, how do you think uh, under Clark Lee or anyone else on your campus, uh, you can start to close the gap, especially in football, which is, uh, and, you know, basketball is a, is a different conversation piece. Baseball we don't need to discuss, but football in particular. Well, you know, I think that, I think if you look at what Clark has done, so Clark is being really deliberate at building his culture and starting within his program. And so he talks a lot about the standards and the expectations that start with the young people that are on his team right now. And if they do what they're supposed to, I think people will start to see, you know, I think it's about just take being intentional and progressing each day. You know, so we're working hard to create and then maintain a culture that people will gravitate towards. And we've done a lot of good things. So while I agree with you that the past is not always relevant, there are things in our past we're very proud of. You know, and then there are areas where we know we need to get better, and that's helping inform the steps that we're taking as we move forward. So, you know, it doesn't change overnight. As I think about the narrative around Vanderbilt athletics, you know, we realized we had work to do both internally. So it is not just about buildings, right? It's about personnel. It's about core values. It's about what we're doing every single day. And then if we do that with integrity and we do it with consistency, I think that people will be drawn to it. I think they will, and I think it will. I think it will be evident even starting in the fall. But this is a again, we are not going to skip steps. You know, I, we don't have that luxury, but we also don't want to because you miss things when you do that. So we just want to get better every day, and I, and I think that that will be evident to people who watch us. Kansas Story Lee, always uh, enjoy talking to you, and uh, thank you for making time. And we will continue this dialogue in the future. All the best. I look forward to it. Thank you so much. All the best to you as well. Thank you very much. A very interesting and enlightening conversation there about Vanderbilt and where they go next.